All right, internet. Day three. It's uh, 6.28 in the morning. It is 50 degrees outside. I'm not sure if the exposure on this camera is even going to pick me up. I uh, just woke up, walked over there to the bathroom. Uh, Carolina Beach State Park, if you ever have a chance to come here, it's got nice facilities. Uh, it's only 20 bucks a night to camp. Uh, you go down to the, the uh, marina store, they got like, plug ins and Wi Fi, and it's a nice place. Um, you can hear around me. I do believe that bird mating season is in full effect. Uh. Birds are having a party. Uh, we burned up all of our firewood last night because we didn't bring any with us. Um, it didn't really burn anyway. If I had one complaint about this campground is that they, the firewood they sold us was green. The wood barely burned. But, uh, it's about time for me to load up on some turkey lunch meat and some granola bars. And as soon as it gets a little bit lighter, get the GPS going and get to where I'm going. I got 45 miles to go, which is going to take me probably about, if I didn't stop to film, probably about four and a half or five hours. Um, but I'll be filming stuff along the way. So. Freezing. <laughs> uh, 85 degrees in February. And it's. Cold. In April. I joked about this. When it was 85 degrees in February. And we were still talking about this. As you watch. It's going to be 40 degrees in April. Sure enough. It was 43 degrees last night didn't really bring 40 degree clothing I brought 80 degree clothing so I've got shorts and shorts and shorts thankfully uh, spider sent me a jacket a long sleeve jersey that'll help because uh, I'm not wearing flannel pants to, to ride down the road I'm not that guy uh, I won't be seen in public in flannel pants not dressed anyway I get to digging around in the Subaru for some food. I will see you guys on the road. So, here's my day three breakfast. Uh, buffalo chicken lunch meat, King's Hawaiian roll, spider. Should be tasty. Freezing. up, ready to go. 45 miles. Let's do it. Looks 
like people got the memo. What did you look at this Saturday, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's a good thing I was paying attention and thought about the sidewalk that I had to take to get on this thing. That's about a 10 inch drop off and this bike's only got about 4 inches of clearance. That would have been uh, over the handlebars dragging the kickstand. It's a good thing I put new brakes on the bike before I left. <laughs> you know, being in the Carolinas and the south and, and all y'all you gotta wonder is that guy related to Django great Scott all right so <clears throat> the uh, GPS uh, had me turn off a of highway 141 on to road called Myrtle Grove Road for four miles. Pretty little road. Got a lot of big estated houses. Got little uh, neighborhoods off the sides. It's quiet. This is the kind of old road you uh, you ride down and you find an old hot rod in the yard. Old Volkswagen. Dump. Anyway, it's a neat road. made it about a quarter of the way of today uh, about 45 miles give or take I've made it about 12 miles so a little bit over a quarter of the way uh, I've made it from Carolina Beach into the outskirts of Wilmington North Carolina uh, I'm off the side of Masonboro Loop just into Wilmington right now the way the roads go here, I'm kind of directionally impaired, so I don't know if I'm east, west, south, or north of the city. Um, but it's been a real pretty ride so far, nice little two-lane roads. You know, the kind of thing that I expected the Charleston area to be when I moved to Charleston. You know, you can get a nice little house on a nice little chunk of dirt, it's quiet, and everybody's yard is kept, sort of. I mean, a handful of yards with cars in the yard, or yard art, or what have you, but... It just seems like the kind of area where you can get a house and have a chunk of dirt and people will just leave you alone and you can live your life, you know? Uh, people are driving decently on the road, slowing down, moving over. They're not doing 100 miles an hour in a 40 mile an hour zone like they do in Charleston. So, I mean, it's been peaceful today so far. I'm going to sit down and uh, finish my Gatorade, probably head into this gas station here and get another one. Um, maybe have a water. Maybe have another spider. I haven't decided yet. We'll see. But uh, I'm thirsty. And uh, oh, that guy looks like Chibs from Sons of Anarchy. Just rode by. Anywho, back at it in a minute. So, still in Wilmington. See something interesting. So, oh, <laughs> almost fell down. Uh, you can hear all the traffic going by. I put my uh, destination into Google Maps and uh, selected bicycle. 
and it gave me a path that looked like I was going to go right down the coastline. Um, it's got me on military cutoff road uh, <clears throat> outside of Wilmington. Maybe I'm still in Wilmington. I don't know. But this road... I should have rode through town. There might have been something to see in town. There's nothing here. It's just like industrial, like AAA and insurance. And I mean, they've got a nice path off the side of the road. I can't complain about that. But, I mean, the wind is kicking again today, making it hard. But I'm hoping that sometime soon I get to something other than this. It's been like that for like five miles now. Imagine that, asking you shall receive. Walk around in this uh, old graveyard for a few minutes. My legs are tired, I need a break. I'm about 16, 17 miles in. You gotta break it up or I'm not gonna make it. That person died March 1st, 1948. John E. Ellis. That's a little bit newer. 1891. Some of the older stones at these graveyards are really hard to read. I mean, they've been here for 150 years. Some of the ones in Charleston, if you walk around and look at them, you got uh, people that died in like 1790, 1805. Uh, it's always interesting to see. camera's going to pick up on that, but was born September 30, 1897, died August 4th, 1928. He is not dead, but sleeping. Norwood Barney. That's one way to look at it. <clears throat> years after. Huh. I wonder, uh, everybody's got a story. Now uh, this seems to be the Mason section because you got Mason, Mason, one back there says Mason, February 14th, 1918 on the little one is Mason, 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 
well, this is the whole be where the Masons live. They got this barrier around here to keep you out of the and I can I can respect that. Whenever I go to old cemeteries, you gotta really try to be careful not to step on uh, step on the grave sites or anything. I try to always be respectful of that, but sometimes when you get into the graveyards like these, there uh, there's people like buried on top of people and there's literally there's headstones between headstones and the stones are only like ten feet apart. And there'll be a, a stone in between them, so I, I don't know. Maybe the, then again, the people in South Carolina are kind of short, so who knows? But this one, uh, the last one I look at here. Ida Riggs Annette, March 8, 1910 to July 2, 1937. That's uh, uh, 27 and some change. But from what it looks like, baby Annette. <coughs> If I had to make an educated guess, I would say that this woman probably died during childbirth, and this is mother and child. God rest their souls, huh? There it is. So. Stopped at uh, Burger King in Wilmington. Market in Middle Sound Street. <clears throat> it's the first time that I've stopped at a Burger King since I've been in the Carolinas, but I got my food in less than two minutes and it didn't take a half an hour. <clears throat> I watch a lot of traveling shows and I give people hell about uh, you know eating someplace that's you know they eat somewhere like this and they feel like you know why wouldn't you try what the local cuisine is? Well. 21 miles into my trip and nothing local was open on a Saturday yet. Um, I've been a couple of barbecue joints, a couple of pizza places, but it's 11 o'clock in the morning and nothing's open. So for $3, I can get 20 chicken nuggets. It's quick protein and the fastest Burger King service. So shout out to this Burger King, Market Street and Middle Sounds in Wilmington. Anybody's watching. You guys are doing a good job. So I'm listening to uh, Google GPS in my headphones here. I'm sure putting an awful lot of faith in Google. That uh, they know what the hell they're doing because uh, I just had to make a left and a roundabout. Now I'm in the neighborhood. infinite wisdom I'm uh, you know Google just weaved me through some brand new neighborhood and I uh, had to pee for like a half an hour this is probably way too much information but I pulled over because there's a big brick wall here woods behind it seemed like a good place to pee to me until I realized there's a sheriff across the street not very smart Already at the campsite and set up. Looks like we've got electric there, where she's 
setting up as we speak, I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to sit here for about 20 minutes. Uh, back of my neck hurts. My legs are alright. Back of my neck hurts. So, anyway, that's it from Hemp Shed. Alright, so I'm just outside of uh, Hampstead or Hemp Shed, whatever you want to call it. And I finally saw something interesting that uh, was worth videotape. And I should have took some tape. I stopped at the uh, local CrossFit to uh, hand out some stickers and try to advertise the uh, the show. Uh, if you're watching, I'm sorry, dude. I'm terrible with names, but uh, he was a nice guy. Uh, anywho, uh, there's this here. Uh, it's like a whole lighthouse looking thing, and then there's a sign that's got the same stonage. And at first I thought, well, maybe this was an old drive-in. But then you come back here a little ways. And there's no way this was a drive-in. Because it's not, it's not deep enough. I mean, there's an old tin shed back over there. But I can't imagine what... I mean, oh wow, there's an open door there. We'll go inside of that in a minute. Um, with this size of a parking lot, and I mean, I guess there's a sidewalk there. Uh, some old. Oh wow, that's uh. Yeah, that's kind of about how I feel at the moment. Uh. Oh, it's like the, uh, the building that was here, has a wheelchair ramp up the side, uh, and this looks like it would have been the main step, and then, uh, yeah, wheelchair access, it goes up and into what would have been the structure here, but Oh, it's weird that there's maybe this. Those of you that aren't from South Carolina, there's not a lot of. Well, hell, then there's a whole. Maybe this was a drive-in, and maybe this was the, the concession. Cause there's another bit of because there's a road over here, and then there's a walkway that comes around that comes up. But then on the other side of this, there's exactly the same thing, and the walkway goes down over there wherever that tin shed is at maybe there used to be a screen down there maybe this was a drive-in and you just came in and drove around it um I mean, that, that that was my first impression was that this was a drive-in but i don't know anyway what i was getting at those of you who aren't from south carolina houses don't get a full foundation here they get like cement around them and then they're well in the carolinas in general then they're they're elevated up off of the ground near the coast like this uh, because we get hurricanes and when the storm surge comes the water comes in six eight ten feet so you got to be somewhat elevated but yeah I don't know if anybody from the uh, Hampstead area knows what this used to be by all means uh, send me a comment or uh, look me up on Instagram Anthony Bove 82 send me a message there um, anyway I am going to cut frame and we're going to go inside of the bottom of the light. Alright, just being careful to watch out for snakes in the tall grass because I have on shorts and I'm allergic to about anything that has that will bite you. Well, let's see. Uh, oh, there's some I mean, there's that, which is, I would imagine that was some sort of a, a uh, well pump set up, and that looks a lot like, I mean, it's obviously PVC that's been glued together, but that looks a lot like uh, an irrigation pump set up, so that was probably for a well. Uh, it's got a fashionable build. Oh, wow. Um, huh.
Uh, you know, this is where me being a weenie comes in. There's ladders that go all the way up to the top of that lighthouse, and I'm here all by myself. And this is an old shaky structure. I'm not going up there. If, if I had somebody else here, maybe. But I'm by myself. My wife's probably eight or ten miles up the road. Um, yeah, that's not something. <laughs> I could go all the way up to the top, but yeah, I'm a weenie. This is uh, definitely not an urban exploring video, but I like to do a little bit of urban exploring here and there, but I'm not. I'm not going up there by myself. Um, let's see, there, there's the door. Oh, this is real stone, not some of that faux stone you see them use on the uh, home improvement stuff. Anyway, that probably wraps it up for this particular clip that's probably about six minutes of video but again if anybody in Hempstead wants to hit me up tell me what that used to be let me know so it really is a place the Beach Boys didn't just make it up go figure all right so I'm a little frazzled at the moment off, angry, tired, sore. I don't know what the exact number mileage is going to be. Pardon my language. Cover your ears, Grandma and Abigail. Google's full of shit. When they tell you it's a 42 mile ride, I crossed over like 53 miles, probably four miles ago. Okay, so I'm pushing 60 miles again on a ride when it was supposed to be 42 miles because Google said it was 42 miles. Not 42 miles. Then to add insult to injury, I might add, don't try to camp in the Carolinas. Okay? You read about these campsites online, they seem like great places. Then you get all the way to the end of your day, 56, 7, 8, 9 miles, whatever it is. Then you gotta walk a mile and a half down a dirt road through a trailer park that makes Sunnyvale. Sunnyvale trailer park from the trailer park boys look like some place you'd want to live. You know. So now there ain't no there ain't no riding this on this bike at the end of the day. You know? Insult to injury. I can't believe it. Gotta walk through a trailer park to get to the campground. I mean this place, I wouldn't even let my kid walk around on the streets in this place. We're going to camp here tonight. Don't camp in the Carolinas.